Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. Root x divided by x whole to the power x minus 1 is equal to x divided by root x whole to the power x minus 3. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. Since the x is in the denominator, so x cannot be equal to 0 because uh, dividing by 0 is undefined and x is under square root so x must be greater than 0. Now this uh, root x can be written as uh, x to the power 1 over 2 divided by x whole to the power this power x minus 1 is equal to x divided by this root x can be written as uh, x to the power 1 over 2 whole to the power this power x minus 3. Now by using this property of exponents a to the power m divided by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. This uh, x to the power 1 over 2 over x will become x to the power 1 over 2 minus 1 whole to the power this power x minus 1 is equal to this uh, x to the power 1 divided by x to the power 1 over 2 will become x to the power 1 minus 1 over 2 whole to the power this power x minus 3. Next, x to the power 1 over 2 minus 1 is uh, negative 1 over 2. Whole to the power this power x minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 minus 1 over 2 is uh, 1 over 2. Whole to the power this power x minus 3. Now, by using this property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. This x to the power negative 1 over 2 whole to the power x minus 1 will become x to the power negative 1 over 2 times x minus 1 is equal to this x to the power 1 over 2 whole to the power x minus 3 will become x to the power 1 over 2 times x minus 3. Next, x to the power negative 1 times x minus 1 will become 1 minus x divided by 2 is equal to x to the power 1 times x minus 3 is x minus 3 divided by 2. And from here we take a natural log of both sides ln of uh, x to the power 1 minus x over 2 is equal to ln of uh, x to the power x minus 3 over 2. By using this natural log property ln of uh, a to the power m is equal to m times uh, ln of a. This expression at the left hand side will become 1 minus x over 2 times ln of x is equal to this expression at the right hand side will become x minus 3 over 2 times ln of x. Move this expression to the left hand side then this will become 1 minus x divided by 2 times ln of x minus x minus 3 over 2 times ln of x is equal to 0 and you can see that this ln of x is a common factor so we factor out this ln of x in bracket left 1 minus x over 2 minus 
x minus 3 over 2 is equal to 0. Now we have, now we have a product of uh, two factors at left hand side that is equal to 0. So either this expression ln of x is equal to 0 or this expression 1 minus x over 2 minus x minus 3 over 2 is equal to 0. Now from uh, this equation we introduce base e to both sides. This will become e to the power ln of x is equal to e to the power 0. And uh, e to the power ln of x is equal to x is equal to and e to the power 0 is equal to 1. So, we find first solution x1 is equal to 1. And uh, from this equation we can take the LCM of this 2 and this 2. LCM is uh, 2. So, this 1 minus x will come here 1 minus x and due to this negative sign this x will become negative x and this negative 3 will become positive 3 is equal to 0. Further simplify this will become 1 plus 3 is uh, 4 and negative x minus x will become negative 2x divided by 2 is equal to 0. Now we multiply both sides of this equation by 2. So this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and we are left with 4 minus 2 times x is equal to 0 times 2 is 0. Move this uh, negative 2x uh, to the right hand side. This implies that uh, 2 times x is equal to 4 and we divide both sides by 2. So this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and we are left with uh, x is equal to 4 divided by 2 is uh, 2. This is the second solution of uh, this equation. So we got the second solution 2. And first we found that the value of x1 is x1 is equal to 1. So we have two solutions for this equation. Now let's verify and see that whether these solutions are valid or not. To verify we use the original equation that is root x divided by x whole to the power x minus 1 is equal to x divided by root x whole to the power x minus 3. First, when x is 1, then this equation will become root 1 divided by 1 whole to the power 1 minus 1. Is this equal to 1 divided by root 1 whole to the power 1 minus 3. Now this uh, root 1 is 1 and 1 divided by 1 is 1. To the power this 1 minus 1 will become 0. Is this equal to 1 divided by root 1 is 1. This will become 1 to the power 1 minus 3 is uh, negative 2. Since any real number, let's say a to the power 0 is equal to 1 and uh, 1 to the power any real number is equal to 1. So this uh, 1 to the power 0 is equal to 1 and uh, this uh, 1 to the power negative 2 is equal to 1. You can see that uh, left hand side is equal to the right hand side which means that uh, this value of x1, 1 is a valid solution. Now when x is 2, then this will become root 2 divided by 2 whole to the power 2 minus 1. Is this equal to 2 divided by root 2 whole to the power 2 minus 3. Now this expression at the left hand side will become 
root 2 divided by 2 whole to the power this is 2 minus 1 will become 1 is this equal to this will become 2 over root 2 whole to the power 2 minus 3 will become negative 1 Now this uh, root 2 over 2 whole to the power 1 will become root 2 divided by 2. By using this property of exponents if we have a over b whole to the power negative n then this will be equal to b over a whole to the power positive n. So this expression at the right hand side will become root 2 over 2. You can see that uh, left hand side left hand side is equal to the right hand side which means that uh, this is second value of x2 uh, is also a valid solution. So we have uh, two valid solutions for this equation 1 and 2.